30 day challenges are great ways to implement new healthy habits into your life. As we're swiftly approaching the end of 2020 and 2021 is literally around the corner, it's a great time to start thinking about challenges that you can set yourself for early in the new year. 30 day challenges are also great ways to try new ideas, try new things, experiment with things that you've never done before without putting too much unnecessary additional pressure on yourself. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you 21 different 30 day challenges that you can try in 2021. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, thanks for stopping by. My name's Tolu and on this channel I share content all around personal finance, budgeting, frugal living and I show you how to live your best life on a budget. Without further ado, I'm going to get straight into the 21 things. Okay, so the first 30 day challenge I have is daily affirmation. So are affirmations something that you currently do or have ever considered doing? Affirmations can be defined as emotional support and encouragement. So do you do this to yourself on a daily basis? Are you continuously encouraging yourself, motivating yourself, telling yourself how amazing you are and talking to your inner self? If it's not something you've ever done before, it's not something you do, consider taking this up as a 30 day challenge and see how you feel at the end of the 30 days. I guarantee you that by speaking life into yourself, affirming yourself positively day in day out for 30 days straight, you're going to feel so much better about yourself by the end of the month. Another great challenge to try is a 30 day marriage challenge. If you're currently married and you've been with your partner for any length of time to be honest, it works for people that are newlyweds or people that have been married for many many years. A 30 day marriage challenge gives you different tasks and things to do on a daily basis towards your spouse. So the idea is that by the end of the 30 day challenge you see a positive impact on your relationship relationship, your communication is improved and you just have a better, more thriving relationship. I'll link in the description box below a couple of great 30 day challenges that you can consider trying with your spouse. The next challenge you can take up is a 30 day parenting challenge. In the same way that you can do a 30 day challenge with your spouse, you can also do the same for your children. So day in, day out for 30 consecutive days, it's going to give you different challenges and different things that you need to do towards your kids. So it could be things like affirming them, listening to them, telling them something nice about them, writing them a letter, so many different things that you can do over the course of that 30 day challenge. Again, I'll link in the description box below a couple of great resources for you to do those 30 day challenges with your kids. The next challenge you can try is a random acts of kindness challenge. So this is basically a daily challenge where you do something nice for somebody. It doesn't have to be a family member, it can be a complete stranger. So you could go to the grocery store and pay for the person in front of you shopping or just paying a compliment to somebody that you see on the street that you like their outfit. Any kind of random acts of kindness that you can do and log on a daily basis try this challenge for 30 days and see how you feel by the end of it it's journaling something that you've ever tried if it isn't something that you do currently try and commit to this as a challenge for 30 days every single day for 30 days straight write in that journal your thoughts your feelings your experiences things that you're grateful for things that you're feeling things that you aspire to do in the future how you're feeling mentally emotionally physically all of these things start writing this in a journal on a daily basis and it'll be amazing to look back at the end of the 30 days over how the month has gone for you and who knows this could be something that you can make a continual thing in your lifestyle because I think journaling is an amazing thing to do it's really good to write down your thoughts and your feelings and your experiences particularly right now in the time that we're currently in I mean we're currently going through a pandemic 10 years from now we're going to look back on 2020 and it's going to be one of those monumental years in history so it'll be really good to have a journal to go back to and reflect over how you were thinking and how you're feeling during this time do you currently have any bad habits are you a person that bites your nails or you person that grinds your teeth a lot are you messy what are these things that you know are bad habits that you want to change why not commit to this as a challenge for 30 days give yourself 30 days in order to break this habit and break this pattern of behavior I think the timing of this video is actually perfect for this next challenge and this is a declutter challenge new year new start new beginnings will be a perfect time to declutter your space and declutter your environment a clear space will help to clear your mind also so if it is a case that you have a lot of clutter in your room in your office, in the children's room, in the kitchen. Set yourself the challenge of going through your house on a daily basis and decluttering items in every single room. There's different ways that you can do this 30 day declutter challenge. It could be on day one, you declutter one item. On day two, you declutter two items. On day three, you declutter three items, etc., etc., etc. Or it can be a take it by room or take it by part of the room each day. So it could be day one, declutter my chest of drawers. Day two, declutter my wardrobe. So however you want to do it, it's 
it's fine just try and do that as a 30 day challenge again i'll link in the description box below to a couple of different 30 day declutter challenges the so next challenge is a really fun one and depending on the kind of person you are this may be a simple challenge or it may be quite a difficult challenge to do but this is the challenge of taking a photo or a video every single day for 30 days i know this is something that i don't do enough of especially with my young children so i would love to be able to do this for 30 days straight take pictures of all my boys every single day just really document some more of our memories because with me I think I tend to just be present in the moment and not really think about capturing the moment too tough but I think this challenge would be a really good one for somebody who's like me who doesn't do that often because it will make you be more intentional about making sure you're documenting these experiences and all the milestones in which your children are going through. Do something that makes you uncomfortable every day for 30 days. Now this challenge is an amazing challenge in order to help you grow. I think there's no growth in your comfort zone so the more you push yourself to step outside your comfort zone, do things that make you uncomfortable make you feel awkward make you feel not so much at ease these things are really going to help you to grow so I know for myself in 2020 I've done so many things that have made me so uncomfortable but I can honestly say they have been really amazing growth opportunities for me so I could definitely see that I've grown a lot this year by doing things that make me uncomfortable and by stepping outside my comfort zone so imagine setting this as a challenge to do for 30 days straight every single day the challenge is to do something that makes you uncomfortable it might be to send an email it might be to make a phone call it might be to speak a family member that you haven't spoken to for so long whatever it is that's going to make you step outside of your comfort zone write down 30 of these things and set it as a challenge for yourself to do it for 30 days straight another great challenge is to learn a new skill you'll be surprised in what you'll be able to learn within 30 days if you commit to it is photography something you've always been interested in but never thought to do are you interested in video editing do you want to learn how to cook there's so many skills that you can learn that you can develop not saying you don't have skills right now but there's always areas in which we can grow there's always areas in which we can learn and improve so find a skill that you really want to develop and commit to it for 30 days. Before 2020 I could honestly say that I hated reading I was not much of a reader I didn't like reading books but thank god for audio books because this year I've been able to get through nearly 20 books and for me that is a huge milestone because last year I think I made it through about five or six books so for me to have read more than triple that this year is amazing but if you're not much of a reader and you don't really like to read maybe challenge yourself to read one book in one month so for example if the book has 300 pages then take 300 and divide it by 30 and read three pages every single day for 30 days exercise daily exercise and i'm not even saying do anything too strenuous if you're not a fitness fanatic and you don't like going to gym or you don't like running or doing anything too strenuous just commit to walking daily so whether it's for 15 minutes or 30 minutes whatever you can manage do that on a daily basis consistently for 30 days and at the end of the 30 days you're going to feel so much more fitter particularly if you track it on one of those apps like the nike running apps being able to track your progress being able to see the results and all the steps that you've been able to take over the course of that 30 days you may find that after the 30 days is up it's something that you continue to do even beyond that what's your current diet like do you eat a lot of fruit and veg or do you eat a lot of sweets and chocolates depending on what your answer is to that question maybe set this as a challenge for 30 days so if you don't eat much fruit and veg at the moment consider doing this for 30 days and reducing your sweet and chocolate intake for 30 days also what you could do to try and spice it up or jazz it up is try a different fruit a new fruit or veg every single day if you're one of those people that stay up to like 2 3 a.m in the morning make it a challenge for your Yourself to go to bed every single night for 30 days before midnight now for me that would be a walk in the park because that's what I do more often than not anyway so I guess the challenge for me rather than going to bed before midnight would be waking up at 5 a.m. every day because that's something that I'm really working on but it's not something I've been able to do consistently for 30 days straight so that would be an amazing challenge for myself if you're a person that stays up late then challenge yourself to go to bed on time and if you're a person that wakes up late then challenge yourself to wake up early for those 30 days drinking water is so important it's something that I know I don't do enough of if you're in that same position and you don't drink enough water then challenge yourself to drink eight glasses a day or try and drink two liters of water every single day for 30 days straight money saving challenges are a great way to save so much money and get in a routine so there's so many different money saving challenges that you can try again I'll link some in the description box below and I actually have another video that I'm going to be releasing soon where I share 12 money saving challenges that you can try in 2021 so watch out for that video because it will be coming soon if you haven't yet subscribed then subscribe so that you don't miss the notification when that video comes out but in terms of this 30 day saving challenge what you could challenge yourself to do is make sure you save something every single day so whether it's one pound a day 
five pound a day or ten pound a day whatever you can commit to consistently on a daily basis set that as a challenge for yourself to save that same amount every single day for 30 days are you addicted to instagram are you addicted to social media if you are maybe it's time to give yourself a digital detox and come off of social media for 30 days so 30 days no instagram no twitter no tiktok no facebook if you could commit to that 30 day challenge trust me it would be revolutionary for you i did a 21 day digital detox a couple of years ago and that was actually the catalyst for me starting my blog and subsequently starting this youtube channel so that time alone that time away from everybody else tuning out the noise tuning out everything else that was going on around me gave me that breathing space that thinking space to think about what i actually want what i want to do and how i want to start earning money online for myself coming off social media and coming away from all the distractions helped me to be able to do that so if you know social media is consuming so much of your life and so much of your time at the moment then definitely consider doing a social media detox for 30 days how many languages do you currently speak and do you have an interest in learning a foreign language if you do why not set yourself the challenge of learning a new language in 30 days now i'm not saying that after 30 days you're going to be fluent in the language i think that's a bit unrealistic however committing a certain amount of time every day for 30 days you're going to be a lot better at the language than you were at the start of the challenge create a morning routine i think creating a morning routine that you can stick to for 30 days will really help you build a habit that will actually help you in so many other areas of your life because i think being able to command your morning really has a positive ripple effect on the rest of your day so if you can get a morning routine that works for you wake up at a certain time have your breakfast do your exercise do your meditation do your reading do your journaling all before you start the rest of your day it's really going to put you in good standing to have an amazing day another great 30 day challenge to try is a self-care challenge so this 30 day challenge is where you just take time out for yourself every single day to do something for yourself so it could be something as little as sit down and read a book that you want to read or paint your toenails or give yourself a face mask or have a long hot bath whatever it is that you want to do as your self-care thing to make yourself feel better and make yourself feel good then do that consistently for 30 days another challenge you can do is cook a meal every single day for 30 days so try different recipes try different meals cook meals that you've never cooked before for 30 days straight so these are just 21 30 day challenges that you can try in 2021 let me know if any of them are things that you've already tried or things that you're going to try in the new year leave it in the comment section below so that's it for this video guys i just wanted to share with you 30 day challenge ideas that you can try in the new year i hope you found it useful i hope you got some inspiration from it and some ideas that you're going to go ahead and try in the new year if you haven't yet done so please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel tell a friend to tell a friend and i will see you tomorrow for another video thanks for watching guys bye